Hello my Pokemaniacs and welcome back. So here we are back here after I bought some more great balls to go face on the uh, pseudo Wudo here later on but uh, right now um, we're gonna work on the bug catching contest and I was wrong about this I forgot it is Tuesdays Thursdays and Saturdays that you can do the bug catching contest and I highly recommend doing it because you can catch some very rare Pokemon including Scyther and Pinsir. Uh, Scyther wasn't really uh, from Gen 1 he was one of kind of my favorite bug types but he just uh, yeah he's a praying mantis and all that and I really like praying mantis but when he evolves into scissor that's when I really started to like him um, uh, Scyther already already has a very decent attack and speed uh, and then when he evolves into scissor he loses a little bit of speed but his attack goes through the roof um, especially when he mega evolves now too but he's always been my mascot ever since he came out so today is Tuesday that means the bug catching contest is on today the rules are simple using one of your Pokemon catch a bug Pokemon to be judged would you take would you like to give it a try yes uh oh you have more than one Pokemon you'll have to use Pidgeotto the first Pokemon in your part yes that's why he's first All right, Kioska goes for Pokemon. We're left with the contest helper. Here are the park balls for the contest. You get 20 of them. Um, person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. Um, Important note, I have caught Shinies in here before, um, when resetting the game completely. completely. Uh, that's on Gold and Silver, of course, but... We're going to try to catch Scyther, that's who we're looking for, it's the only one I'm interested in. Gonna hope Pidgeotto does not knock it out. It might take a while to find one too, because there are a five percent chance per encounter. So, and I don't think the twenty-minute thing that he says is actually accurate. It's I think it's when you have used all twenty of your park balls is when it's over, or whenever you quit. Whichever comes first. Get out of here, Weedle. Scyther! I found out where Thief is too. TM46 Thief is actually in the rocket hideout. I just gotta make sure I have a metal coat before my Scyther turns level 30, I believe. That way I can evolve him and he'll learn Metal Claw at level 30. Although he might learn that when he evolves too. Kinda like Bullet Punch now. I think I need to go up in that other grass area. It might be a better spot. I think I've won a couple of these contests before in the past. I don't think I've ever won with a Scyther, though. I usually lose to some guy with a Paris or something. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ooh, we're getting closer. It's a Kakuna. I need a Scyther. 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 You're not Scyther. 
Scyther! Scyther! Yeah. It's a good thing we're basically just doing this whole video on the bug catching contest, because it could take a while to find a rare one. Beedrills and Butterfreeze are also rare in here, too. I think I have caught a shiny Butterfree in here once before. I know I've caught a shiny Beedrill. Take two steps back. Come on. Where are the Scythers? Where is the Mantis Pokemon? That's who I need right now. Come on. Oh, there's a Pinsir. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, that's not the one I want. It has to be Scyther. Good way to catch some high level bug Pokemon. Just, just do the bug co catching contest on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. This is the one thing I looked forward to every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when I was growing up. Bug catching contest. Especially when I had a completed Pokedex. I was just breeding. Instead of breeding, I'd just come out here and catch bug Pokemon, try to win the contest. I've seen more Weedles than I want to deal with. Scyther. I think we can find Venomoths in here too. There he is! Well, that didn't take very long at all! She is. It's a female. Alright. Even better. Okay, don't kill it, Pidgeotto. We want to be friends. Please remember this. Friend. Scyther, be friend. One more tackle. Please hang on there, Scyther. Ouch. Now, the hard part. Yes. Catching it in a ball. Uh, let's just try another one, see what happens. Don't know what's going to happen, but I want you. Get in the barn.
Oh, I was so close. Get in the bar. Yes. And of course, the nickname. It's very proud of its speed. It moves so fast that its opponent does not even know what knocked it down. The Mantis Pokemon. Okay, we are done. Yes. We'll probably get second or third. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? Placing third was Pokefan William. Who caught a pinzer. Oh wow. So we might actually get second. The score was 333 points. Placing second was Chaos Giga. Who caught a Scyther. The score was 339 points. This bug catching contest winner is Camper Barry, who caught a pinzer. Wow. Must have been a higher level pinzer or something. Winning score was 372 points. Chaos Giga, the number two finisher, wins Everstone. Those are good. Please join us for the next contest. We'll return the Pokemon we kept for you. Here you go. Blade. Yes. Party's full, so the Pokemon was sent to your box in Bill's PC. Hiya, it's Uncle Ralph. Are you taking good care of your Pokemon? You have to be good to your partners. Yesterday, a wild Bellsprout slipped away from me in front of my kid. I was feeling down and shared some Pokeballs with me. Yeah, it's like the same thing, just a different Pokemon. Okay, um... Where does this put me at? Oh, this puts me on Route 36 as well. Found an ice berry. Okay, I need to go... Whoa, 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 let's not do that. Um, first off, we're going to go pull our Scyther out, Blade, and put our Togepi in there. Then we'll come back here, and we're going to battle all the trainers that we can battle in here. And get the items that we need out of there. Okay. No, there's no PC in there. Is there? There's no PC in there, is there? Yes, there is. What the heck am I thinking? Wow, I almost drove all the way back to Goldenrod. Togepi is going in the box. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we're close to twenty. Go ahead and switch that box. Hey, give me some agua. Alright, so... Close to hatching. Get Blade caught up here, level 20 at least. Wonder what's inside. Oh, it needs more time. Man. Oh, there's also an increased chance or probability of that egg from the daycare people on the crystal version to be shiny, different color. 
That's what it says. Um, so it's like a 14% increased chance, which is not really that much, but it's better than nothing. Can we run our bike in here? Oh yeah! Can run our bike in here. Oops, I have to quit thinking like a teacher all the time. You must be a Pokemon trainer. Since you're working hard, so hard, I want you to have this. Quick Claw! Indeed I want that. Poison Barb, it's going on, Beedrill. Oh my lord. Look this way. Okay. There we go. Just had to enter the grass. My Pokemon is simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darlings make me. Clefairies. Clefairy. Snubble. <laughs> it's a snubble. Good. Hope it always fails. Try to beat all these trainers in this uh, national park, and then we'll... Move on to Route 36 and try to catch that pseudo Udo. Then we'll probably come back, or I'll come back um, off off video to catch Pokemon I, I've been missing here for the daylight. Before continuing on our quest for size Scizor. Oh come on, seriously? Cute charm from a female to a female. Can beat you in pride, but not with Pokemon. Okay, there should be a way to enter over here somewhere. There we go. Get another one. Hello, why are you staring at me? Oh, a battle? Be the only reason why. No, oh, I need to put my Scyther down there, don't I? I'll get that taken care of before the next uh, video. There's no point in me wasting time during the video to do that. Furry Cutter. I need to teach him Furry Cutter. Because that is a move he's going to have either way. Especially on this this generation. Oh, good lord! There goes my evasion. It fell dramatically. It's not like I used double team. was a vicious headbutt. Shook the whole screen. Got a crit. Uh, four more levels and Blade should learn False Swipe. Which is going to help me tremendously. Goodbye, Cubone.
Hmm. Okay, let's use the potion. Let's go to the TM pocket. Furry cutter use. Put it up to the contain furry cutter. Teach furry cutter to your Pokemon, yes. Blade. Yes. Leer. Trainer tips. Print out mail by opening it when pressing, then pressing start. My daughter, it cheers me up. Look this way! Here we go, here's an entrance. Alright, we need to get back on the bike. We're running up the time right now. Paralyze heal. There should be a TM in here too. Should be. Dig. TM28 is always dig, right? Full heal. Okay, so that's everything back in here. Um, now we just gotta fight all the trainers. In here, go back to the Pokemon Center for the break. Probably catch all the Pokemon I want. I'll level up Scyther a little bit more. Let's do this. There we go. I don't know why it wouldn't come after. We adore our Pokemon, even if they dislike us. That's what being a fan is about. What do you have, a Snubble? It's not Raichu. Ooh. Why is it that... Pikachu and Raichu in the old versions look fat. I guess it's because they're like a mouse and a kind of a rat after it evolves, but. Sorry, Blade. Whew! Beedrill. Beedrill says, not my Blade. M my Pokemon! Well, serves you right. You picked on my Blade. I'm gonna take it out on you. Um, let's go ahead and use it. I'll have plenty of money to buy some more. Forget about all these trainers in here. Uh, I want to save too. So my thought process is to go and get Thief after doing the storyline to a certain point. Um, So we have to go all the way over to the lighthouse, and then we have to go to Mahogany Town, and Mahogany Town is where the rocket hideout's at, and that's where I'm going to find Thief at. And then I have to go back to Route 38 and 39 with a Pokemon, uh, which I probably won't do on video, depends, um, 
just to get the metal coats from the magnemite. And it can take anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes just to get one metal coat because it's a 2% chance to get it whenever you use Thief. And yeah, it's pretty hard. Uh, and I don't need a fighting type to do that most likely. I'll probably have to trade Iabra for the Machop in that one town down below to do that. But at any rate... Try to find the rest of the trainers up in here. Okay, we fought him. There's not that many trainers in here, if I remember right. Get him to turn around. There we go. Pokemon. There are well, still lots of things we don't know. But I know more than you do. How's that? Schoolboy Jack wants to battle! He sent out an Oddish! Well... Is Grass-type super effective against a Bug and Flying-type? I think not, my friend. Well, the Poison-type will prevent it from being super effective, but at any rate. Thunder shocks, no nothing, okay? Look at a crit. Sixteen. What? what? <laughs> I already battled her. That's right. Dang it. Uh, there should be some sun kerns and stuff in here, too. And the Nidorans. Forgot about the Nidorans. They should be in here, too. Which I want to wait until after we do the pseudo Wudo event because I just bought a whole bunch of Great Balls and I'm hoping those will work. I actually want him to have False Swipe before we go over there. I, I know he's a Rock type and he'll have like a super effective rock throw move, but I would rather for my Pokedex and stuff them on my bag. I'd rather have false swipe so that way I don't knock him out. And I think that's all the trainers. And I was gonna say I didn't think there was that many. Two in the bottom grass and three up top. Yeah. Alright, so now we'll just head back to Goldenrod City to hit the Pokemon Center. And we'll come back up here. We'll do Route 36 and then we'll try to get Pseudo Wudo. So, um, yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one.